Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Tool Tech Tips. I'm Matt and today we're going to check out some ways to cut acrylic. Today's tool is actually a bunch of different tools. We've got our different acrylic scoring knives, we got some saws with, that you use with your hands, we got some electric saws. There's all kinds of ways to cut acrylic and if you have been in PC modding for any amount of time you may have seen people that make up their own custom panels and to do that cutting acrylic is one of the many ways to get there. So let's dive right in and check out all the different options you got. First up I want to cover the hand tools. Now a couple of these you won't find quite as oftenly used for cutting acrylic sheets like this necessarily however these hand saws do work really great for acrylic tubing and that's why I figured they at least deserved an honorable mention here. Although you could go ahead and do some straight cuts with these saws I would definitely recommend to use a scoring knife like one of these if that is mainly what you're doing is nice straight easy cuts. So first off I want to mention that using some thinner acrylic like this eighth inch is much easier with the scoring knives than something like this five millimeter or this is quarter inch I believe. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more effort and a little bit more time to get to this than that but that should be obvious. So we're going to start off by taping off where we want to cut our line. This will more or less just help keep the line more visible and it's much easier to draw on the tape than it is the smooth acrylic. Once you've got your cut all marked out, you're going to need to take your straight edge and keep it up against the line as we are going to use it to guide our scoring knife. Once you're sure it's straight, you're going to take your scoring knife and without too much pressure, you're going to want to start scoring your plastic. The whole time you want to make sure to keep your blade firmly up against the straight edge. Once you've scored it a good six to ten times, you've probably got a deep enough groove in it where you can remove your straight edge and you can actually just continue to score it without the assistance. I always tend to flip my piece around and score it a few times running the other way as it is hard to get right up against the edge where you're starting. Now you do want to make sure you run the scoring blade all the way out either edge otherwise you can have some issues with cracking when you do go to break it. Now that our mark is good and scored we can go ahead and break it off. What you're going to want to do is place it up against the edge of your table with the line lining up with about the edge approximately. You're going to want it to overhang a little bit. Then you're just going to firmly press down on the outside while holding the inside. And voila! We have cut our piece of plastic pretty much as straight as possible and it did end up being a pretty clean cut. Obviously the more you score it, the easier it's going to break and the less likelihood it's going to crack or break in some other way, shape, or form. Now if you guys do want to use a scoring knife for the thicker acrylic, like the quarter inch I was showing you, I typically will recommend that you score both sides actually because that can really help increase how easy it is to break and the likelihood of an issue happening when you do break it. So here we have a couple other options that you could use for cutting your acrylic. Here we have a jigsaw as well as a scroll saw. Both are actually very good at what they do. You can actually cut both straight and curvy lines with them. So if you do have an odd shape to cut out, this is probably what you're going to want to go with. Now if you just want to go with a jigsaw, which is probably going to be your cheaper and more versatile option than the scroll saw, you're going to want to make sure that you get a good blade for it. Now there are actual specific plastic blades, um, however even just a big toothed wood blade is going to do you pretty well. You want to stay away from the smaller teeth as the bigger teeth will actually help remove the plastic and keep it out of the cut. And when it does come to cutting acrylic with your electric saws, the biggest key is to keep the shavings out of the cut as it'll quite often like to melt back together kind of resulting in a half ways cut 
more or less. Now the thing with the jigsaw, obviously, like I said, it's a little bit more versatile being the fact that you control the entire tool, where it goes and whatnot. If you wanted to cut inside something, you can easily just drill a hole, place the blade in it, and away you go. Now the scroll saw is a little bit easier to use just on your hands and whatnot, because the saw stays in one place and all you gotta do is maneuver your material. However, it is a little bit trickier to cut shapes out on the inside. You'd once again just want to drill a hole and then you can remove this blade and then put it through it. However, it's a bit more of a process. Either way, let's check out how this guy goes. Boy, do I love the smell of fresh cut plastic. Now, it might have been hard to tell, but I did use a bit higher speed setting on the scroll saw here. I would do the same with the jigsaw. Overall, I've had the best luck with it. However, you guys can fine tune most of these saws to have different speeds if you are having some issues with, like I said, the plastic melting or the cut just not turning out quite right. Now, at the end of the day, if you're looking for something that's really custom and detailed and is probably a lot harder to cut out with either a scroll saw or a scoring knife, I would really recommend you guys hit up our CNC and laser cutting services. Both our CNC and our laser cutter can do quite some intricate details as well as all kinds of different patterns. So if you guys have any fan grills or case panels, whatever it might be, we can probably cut it for you. As always, you can find all these tools linked in the description below so you can get some for yourself. If you guys still have any questions about how any of these guys work, please leave those in the comments. Or maybe you've used some of these and made some of your own fancy mods. I'd love to hear about it. So like I said, leave it all below. If there are any other tools that I haven't covered yet in this series, or that you might just want to find out more about yourself, please let me know and I'll see if I can make a video about that. Otherwise, please take some time to check out all our other tool tech tips as well as our build logs and product overviews. Those are all found on our channel. So if you can, Subscribe and hit that like button so we can keep making these great videos for you. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Happy water cooling.